So it's happened. Jax Magoma is leaving Birmingham City at the end of the season and Jonathan Grounds as well after both their contracts um, have not been renewed at the club. So after four years of service for Jax Magoma and about five years of service for Jonathan Grounds, even though he's been out on loan for about one or two of them years, um, it's sad to see, to be honest, Jax Magoma leaving especially because he's scored some really important goals for us. Of course, I'm going to miss his uh, pineapple hairstyle as well. Um, and, of course, Jonathan Grounds as well. He's, he's been a good servant to the club. he come in from uh, Oldham in 2014. Lee Clark sold, signed him on a free transfer. Um, you know, he'd done decent the first couple of seasons, but, you know, um, he was pretty average for us. Um, Christian Pedersen's done a lot better than Jonathan Grounds in that left-back position. So, yeah, um, Jonathan Grounds as well has got 170 appearances for Blues. So, you know, he's, that's nearly 200 appearances, I mean. And as well, um, he's been out on loan for about one or two seasons. So that's pretty decent, to be honest. Well, when he was, um, you know, when he come in in his first season under Lee Clark, he was start, starting every game and especially under Gary Rabbit as well. Um, so, yeah, and that's going to be Jonathan Grounds. So next of all, Jax Magoma. Now, Jax Magoma, after four brilliant years at the club, is going to be leaving. I wouldn't really say four brilliant, four brilliant years, sorry, because this season, you know, he hasn't played a lot of games and he's been dropping in form. Um, you know, he keeps giving the ball away sometimes. But, you know, the first couple of seasons he was with the club, he'd done really well, scored some important goals for us. Um, of course, Gary Robert signed him from Sheffield Wednesday on free transfer as well. And, um, yeah, he's got 21 goals to the club in five seasons. Um, and, yeah, he's got 180 appearances for the club as well. So, Jonathan Grounds and Jackson McGoma together have got 350 appearances. McGoma, you know, he scored some important goals for us, like I said. I remember that season, 17-18, when Gary Monk came in um, near the end of the season. He scored... The winner against Sheffield United, he, and even in that same season, he got the winner against Leeds, uh, Leeds, sorry, um, when Steve Cottrell was manager. So yeah, it's going to be kind of sad not seeing Jack McGoma at the club. Jonathan Grounds, I mean, I'm not really too disheartened about him leaving the club, but McGoma, um, you know, he was a good impact sub. I remember, um, that his first season he was really good for us under Gary Robert, and he started pretty much every game that season, um, but. You know, the sixteen seventeen season under Zola. Don't don't get me started about that season. He was, I I don't think he was even playing that much game. He wasn't playing that much games because I believe Kevin Fry was in that position that Jax McGoma was meant to be in. But yeah, it is an end of an era. Jax McGoma. Um, you know, I think he was kind of underrated. Um, but he was, you know, a bit of stops, stop and start. He had one good game and then he had a bad game. But all in all, and I also, oh, before I end this video, I remember that goal he scored against Stoke last season, that thunderbolt of a goal. But yeah, he was in the right, like I said. It's going to be a shame to see him not around the club because, you know, he was loyal to the club. He was a good servant to the club. He never forced to move away. Um, and yeah, uh, leave it down in the comments below what you think about this. It's been Keep Watching TV. Make sure to, make sure to like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you later.